always interesting stories that unfold here in Cabo Verde. Like these girls who just show up to Galapan early one morning. It's usually after being at some club or party. We talk about girl stuff. Helps me with my Creole. They all love Galapan. He's a gentleman. Here, they can play the music loud. Yeah, I stock the fridge. Now, let me tell you the story about how this boat ended up here. A Finnish friend of mine named Simon sailed this boat solo from Finland. He had it for sale and was approached by two Ghanian guys who wanted to buy it. Their goal was to sail it to South America. They agreed on a price and Simon put the boat on the hard to get it all fixed up and make it seaworthy. Well, as boat repairs go, it took longer than expected, but it was done. In the end, the boat was solid and ready. The new owners decided to take on five more passengers and recruited a captain as they didn't know how to sail. The captain, a scruffy local guy that many of us know, boasted about his sailing capacities and was hired. They went on a test sail with Simon. The captain seemed to know what he was doing and the boat was solid and sailing great. Simon had delivered a seaworthy boat. They loaded the 10 meter boat with enough food and water for eight people, a lot of weight. As they were crossing the canal, the mainsail halyard was not properly secured to a cleat and it dropped, the whole sail dropped. The captain panicked, turned on the motor, and went straight to the adjacent island, heading straight into the rocks. And he ended up crashing into the rocks at full speed. He jumped ship and fled, leaving the others aboard. A local fishing vessel towed the boat into the bay, and as they were doing so, for some reason, the boat sank. The fugitive captain was eventually captured and charged as well as one of the other buyers, once a professional football player, is rumored to have fled to another island. Apparently he is still at large. So yet, yeah, another sailboat has met its fate here in Cabo Verde. Since I've been here, I think there's been about seven, seven boats that have crashed, disappeared, sank. And that's just the way it is here in Cabo Verde. <laughs> it's tough for some sailboats. If you're not careful, you don't know what you're doing. Luckily, no one has been hurt so far. Meanwhile, Galapan's getting a new sail. Well, a new new sail. So what do you think, guys? My friend Jean, the Swiss guy, is offering this sail for a thousand bucks. It's pretty darn good. Here, Peter and I loosely hoisted it on a calm day to see how it would fit. Zinia, big as they say here, Zinia, small, it's nice. Yeah, it will need some adjustments. It'll do it. Dad and Peter and I have dealt with the mainsail. We just got to bring it over to uh, Tuga, the sailmaker here. I think you've met him before, I featured him before. He's really good. Let's see if you can adapt that sail, I think you can. Now I'm working on a hatch problem that I've had for a long time. I have water coming into my uh, forward cabin, it really sucks, instead of v -bar. Uh The seal's all wet, all messed up. Just took it off and stuffed it in his bag and I'm gonna bring it over to the boat save and see if they've got a replacement for it. That's the project I'm working on today. We took it to Tuga, the only trusted sailmaker on the island. Maybe on all of the islands. And Tabo Cortali? He's been doing this for years, as well as lazy bags, beminis, and such. I weren't quite sure how to adjust it, but Tuga knows his stuff. He explained how he took a bit off the head, as well as the clue, and adjusted the angles between the battens on the leech. Days later, the wind gave me just enough time to hoist a sail, but not enough to put in the reefs. But later, 
The wind was kind and let me dress Galopin in his new whites. The sail fits. Jean, the other Swiss on the island which I've known from back in the Canaries, acquired a new boat. He sailed it alone all the way from Italy. <laughs> Unlike me, he doesn't like loud music. He used to own this ferro cement boat, which is now for sale. If interested, it's only 20 grand. Or Jean had a surplus of sails, needed some room and timing was perfect. I needed a sail and I had a little extra cash. It's good to be patient. As a sailor, you gotta be. It's summertime here and party time every weekend during the summer. And the girls are back on Galapon. alone it was just me and this girl, a Solaris lobster. I had to look it up. It's also known as a locust lobster. And here they call it a Seagal de Mar. That's a sea cricket. I've had one before. My friend, you're gonna be dinner to me. Gosh, I hate to eat murder big creatures, you know, but I guess I'm gonna have to. Isn't it darling? Look at its cute little eyes. Which shell, it's so friggin' hard. I had to hammer a knife into it. I'm an assassin. Thing. <laughs> and violence is not my thing, and neither is torture, so I didn't want to boil it to death. So once it's cut into two meaty halves, the gore becomes gastronomy. <music> Melted salted butter, got some store-bought lemon juice and mixed them together. Again. Me, I like the purity of food. Simple ingredients, like just the tang of lemon and the savor of butter and sweetness of the lobster. And together, this menage a trois makes delicious oral love. Mmm. Orgasmic, man. So good. A few days later, Lily came back to visit Wendy and I. Tana. She took hold of the camera and Lily performed. Ah, uh, life in Mandelo. <laughs> Thanks for coming aboard Gatopine Winded Voyage. This is our studios. You know, it's the good people on Patreon who are making this happen and keeping us afloat. Hope you'll join our community there. Uh, we've got a lot of cool extra perks this year, like live updates, news, photos, videos, and I've even taken a stab at writing some short stories which are not for general audiences on YouTube. Plus, our friend and patron Graham started a WhatsApp chat that he aptly called Gallopin's Cockpit. Guys from all over have joined, and we can talk and chat uncensored, 
say whatever we want and discuss anything. And it's this community that's contributing to the continuation of this Living Adventure series. Or you can watch for free on YouTube, just make sure to give us a like or dislike or leave a comment and definitely subscribe. So thanks for coming along on Winded Voyage, man. Let's go.